this way anyway. Oh! This music again. Let's head in and rescue ourselves a genie. Thank you for freeing me. Once I was the garden of this labyrinth, but a terrible creature imprisoned me here. For your kindness, I will teach you a magical dance you can use to foil evil. Watch closely. So that one, and that one. And we'll get to see it in our dance menu. Down and left for the elephant. You can review the dance moves on your subscreen. Practice hard and never forget them. So, to get out of here, the music even suits the transformation, that's the best part. Can't run as the elephant, but we can dash. And the best part is the elephant makes this boss a joke. Big time. You'll see when we get there. First, we need to get leave. Negative polarity. Positive polarity. And thankfully, enemies don't respawn. And just use the monkey to get back up. I need negative polarity, apparently. Guess I'm going to get negative. <coughs> okay. Up we go. All oh, that chip tune music. Taking advantage of fully, it's a nice touch. Ignoring you. Can't get up that way, but this way we can. Okay. Because the monkey goes incredibly fast, I'm changing back to normal. And pray my controller works. <laughs> ah, of course. Ooh, I can get up there. Fine, monkey. There we go. <laughs> Missed the PQ and I lost track of myself. Ah! You're kidding me? Ow. Oh! So much for that. Oh, I. Ah! Little jerk, die! And I can ignore you, you guys though. Come here and get whipped by the hair. Ha! Jerks, not too much to worry. Take that. I'll take that gem though, if you'll give it to me. There we go. Okay. What's next? We can go this way now. Positive polarity once more. I can go up and get electrocuted like one tomorrow, or I can go this way. And take advantage of the elephant dash. Okay, there we go. It destroys enemies, I love it. I have no key? I have no key. Okay, um, I may just have to go up. Oh boy. Well, let's check the other areas we could use the elephant dash for. Because we could do it up here on this floor. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, the creativity in these dungeons is actually a very nice touch, too. Let's see what's over here. Oh, more polarities. Let's make sure we're negative polarity before we go in there. What's over here? Wait for him to transform. And walk right into that. Ha, ah, destroyed just like that. I love how powerful the elephant is. It definitely makes up for it with its speed. Oh, hello, you! I just saved myself, holy cow. 
Oh no you don't, you evil magnet creature! I think that's the key we needed, too. Well, what do you know? Off we go. Thankfully lives aren't too meaningful in this game. I forgot about that! <laughs> uh, I don't pay attention. I think I smell my Pop-Tart. It's a cookie dough one. I had it in the toaster earlier today. Okay. Can get it over here. What's over here? Ah, you guys! No longer care, because it'll just pre-checkpoint me anyway. But this gives me a chance to get rid of you. Crawl so I don't get hit. Take that! You could have at least given me a heart. That'll do! <gasps> so I need negative polarity here. So let's go make ourselves negative. Which is easy to do, all of our polarities are just at the bottom. Oh, it forces positive on you here, though. Hmm. I know I'm probably gonna die from this, but there might be a negative polarity switch up here. Oh. Little, uh, ledge... Take advantage of the ledge you can stand on. Just like that. Take that. Haha. -ha. Oh, and we get the warp squid. That's nice. So the warp squid's not what I want. I wonder. I'm gonna try something here. No, doesn't work. Hmm. Well, let's see. Trial and error, the best... Wait a minute! I just remembered, there's a section we can use to get across with the elephant. And that was down on the lowest level. Ah, my memory doesn't fail me yet. It was down here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, I hit the arrow key, why didn't you respond? There we go. <laughs> Doesn't like me, apparently. Ta-da! Do I want to use the elephant to cross? Might be the safest method. Phew. Sometimes slow and steady is better than rushing everywhere. Yay, health! More health. And quite not high enough for the monkey to get. Okay. And I need another key. Screensaver! I should really turn it off when I'm recording. So, can I get that high with the monkey is the better question. May as well try. Let's see. Only one way to find out is to try. Not quite. Not high enough that way either. Oh well, we tried. Hop, hop. Another key. Let's at least get this going, and I'll try that spot again. Playing from memory is a nice way to do the let's play, because you kind of remember what you're doing, but at the same time you do know that you're doing something a little different. Let's see. Ha ha ha! Not this time! And this is the upper route, too! Ooh! Handy handy! So this is the trick. And another warp squid! I'm pressing the button, thank you. <laughs> okay. Let us 
hop down and get past that polarity junk. Okay, so I can pull you towards me and get another key, which should come in handy. <laughs> I love how the key is in the same color as you. Okay, so we should be able to continue on through that pathway now. I kind of want to stick with the negative polarity. Whoops, wrong one! Oh well. Mm, you know what, I can always grab the polarity, but... Yeah, I'm gonna try to stick with it. Okay, let's see here. Doot, 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 doot. How many warp squids do I have? I'm curious. Three, so I can find one more. Okay, it was all the way down at the bottom. Monkey. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to switch polarity after all. Oh well. Okay. Slow across. There we go. You know what? I might be able to drop down on that warp squid. We'll find out, I guess. Key. And... Hmm, not far. What do we have down here? Health! But it's usually the sign of a boss. And needing another key. There's one more path I don't think I've taken, isn't there? Let's go and check. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh, here it is! It was back at the beginning! I had to think for a minute there. It's something that you like to throw you off with. Well, that's some easy cutting I'll be doing. Alright, let's see what we got. What do you know? There's our last key, and a magnet creature I have to destroy. No, you don't! For more than one, just the one. Well, what do you know? Something to easily miss. Ooh. But there's a warp squid up here, too! So that warp squid we see but can't reach, he's one of the fifth ones we have to get later. Because there's only certain methods to getting certain warp squids. And they make sure of it. Okay. Back we go. It is boss time. This boss will be super easy. All the way back, down at the bottom. Off we go. But thankfully, the polarity ha uh, doesn't do anything during the boss fight, I believe. Don't quote me, I don't quite remember. We'll find out when we get there. All I know is this boss was so easy. Down. Full health. Okay. Off we go. But first, let's break some stalactites and stalagmites. Like the game! Because so much is uh, running at the same time. Yo ho, Gollum Stone. Come to Mama. I'm on to you, Risky Boots. You'll You're trying to rebuild the steam engine using all four magical relics. Well, well, you're a smart little tag-along. This single piece of golem stone is the only metal strong enough to hold the other stone's power. Once I have all four stones in my possession, I'll create the most powerful weapon this world has ever seen. Oh, 
<laughs> what? Ah! And it is boss time. Against the golem. Oh, come on. There we go. I hit the button. Why'd, why'd nothing happen? There. Ow. Oh, wow. Did not expect that. Why? What? Okay, I kind of missed my opening here. Are you gonna do the pounding? Do the pounding, please. Thank you. are not high enough. Come on. Just pound away with... Dirty. Come on. Up on those hands, and attack. And there we go! Easiest boss! <laughs> Once you can remember your timing... And the Golem Stone. Wasn't used to his hands flickering. Wrench, you're back! What's this? A note from Sky? It reads Dear Shante, someone named Roddy Tops replied to my message. She says she knows the whereabouts of the next magical stone. She travels with the zombie caravan, which is camped east of Watertown. Hope this helps. Friends always, Sky. Ah! Sounds like my next stop, all right. I'd better go find that caravan. And that temple is done. Holy cow! Took a little longer than I had anticipated, but hey, we still got through it, and a new transformation to boot. So with that, I'm gonna stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Shantae. This is Autumn Child saying I'll see you all next time.